Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm going to talk about the uh, evolution of the Heineken 24-ounce uh, mini keg pot. Uh, this is probably for newbies more than anybody else because the guys at the height gain length of time either love this pot or hate it and probably know all about it. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, this is your basic. 24 ounce Heineken mini keg. It's a fairly durable can and it has a lot of attributes that really lend itself well to ultralight backpacking. First thing is it weighs I think a little less than an ounce and has these two reinforcement bands that step in and out that make it quite a bit more rigid than a regular beer can especially like a Foster's or anything for a, for a flat sided can and it's, it has a curve to it here which gives it even more strength. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good can for backpacking. Okay, that having been said, let's get down to the nuts and bolts of the whole thing. The first thing you do to make this into a backpacking pot or cup is you take a safety cutter and cut the top off. Now the safety cutter doesn't cut inside. It cuts right on this edge right here. And when you get done, you have an absolutely smooth inner and outer. And as you'll see here, uh, you have a nice lid too. Okay, now before we get to that, a lot of different people have... Uh, donated ideas to get this to where it is now. This is a complete cooking kit. It weighs one pound and has everything you need in it to do a moderate amount of cooking for uh, over a week. So first off we have a uh, four cup Ziploc container with a screw lid and on the top we have uh, if I can get it just right in the light to read it I think this is a one cup container on the top. Now this cap normally has a center in it and as you'll see when I take this apart that's been cut out with a jackknife and cleaned up. Uh, okay now here's your one cup bowl that serves as a top for your carrying case for your stove and your pot. This works good to like mix up spaghetti sauce dehydrated stuff what it measures stuff out in. And uh, here's a water tank for a black fly stove. And then in here is a Heine pot. Now you can see I have two containers to measure and eat out of. And the Heine pot makes for a third container. This is your main cooking system. Now, first off, I'm going to go through everything that we did to make this pot as good as we possibly could. Okay, here's the lid. It's just a regular top that's been cut with a safety cutter. Uh, I've left the tab in this one, uh, but you usually have to drill some holes because if you're cooking and everything, it needs something to vent or it'll just keep flopping up and down and making noise and stuff will boil over. Some people pop the uh, tab right out and leave it right out. It gives you a lot. It's probably about right for venting. And second off, I've put in a wooden knob on this, just a small half-inch wooden knob with a, with a wood screw to hold it in place. Some of them I've painted red. This one happens to be the original stock color. So there's the lid. Uh, now you've got your basic Heineken can. Now the bottom has been painted flat black uh, to absorb heat better, and that, it does make a fair difference. Uh, this is an old one that's been used a lot, so this is fiber, 1 16th fiberglass wick that Jason Class came up with this idea, so that when you're cooking with it, uh, rather than have to grab it with a pot grabber, or even carry a pot grabber and crush the top all up, you just grab all of the fiberglass wick and it offers enough insulation so you won't burn your fingers. And then up here, if you want to use it for like a coffee cup, it's got a uh, silicone wristband like from Walmart that's stretched over here to uh, protect your lip when you pick it up to drink out of it. Okay, uh, next Here's the base for the stove. Uh, inside here I have a large windscreen and I believe there's a set of pot legs in there but I guess not. They're in here somewhere anyway. Uh, and then I have the main fuel canister for the stove which goes in here. I have uh, two four ounce fuel bottles for a total of eight ounces of fuel. I have the legs for the stove, 
and I have a cigarette lighter. So, uh, to run this simple system, you simply fill this water tank full of water, put your fuel canister in, squirt your fuel into the fuel canister and put the top on, pull your wicks up where you want them, you can adjust these up or down for different temperatures. Uh, this is on high here, and then if you want to just simmer, you push them all the way down to low, and you can do anything in between. Once you get this lit, these pot legs fit right into the concave part of the base of the stove. You've got your lid, you put your lid on. Here's your windscreen that you can put around it if you're in windy weather keep the wind away from it, and that's your entire cooking system. Now, eight ounces of fuel is enough to cook for, for me for more than eight days. I don't usually use a whole ounce when I cook. It takes a little over a half an ounce to prepare a meal, and that still leaves you enough fuel to make coffee or dessert or whatever. So, uh, this is enough for eight meals, and I usually only cook one meal a day in the evening. I don't cook meals at noontime. <coughs> And if I want to do spaghetti, I'll cook the spaghetti in the heine pot, then I'll dump it in here, and I'll dump off the hot water and mix my sauce up in this, and then dump it over into here and uh, eat spaghetti out of this. Also, if you want to deluxe the whole thing out, and of course everybody wants to deluxe it out, you can also go one step further, and this is called a pot cozy, and once you heat your water up and get your meal in here and you wait and you're going to rehydrate it, you don't have to keep burning fuel to keep it warm. You put it right in the pot cozy, put the lid on, crunch down the top, and that'll continue to cook for 15, 20 minutes without burning any fuel. Uh, that's the entire cooking system using a Heineken pot. Uh, to date, I think that's everything we've come up with. I probably missed something. I think that's basically everything we've come up with to. Uh, to cook with this system. Like I say, it's a one pound system to uh, cook your dinner for a week. So, uh, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike. Have a great day. Bye bye.